In this episode, I'm dipping into the United Arab Emirates for five nights and six days, and I'm visiting Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Let's get stuck in. Hello, I'm James, and this is the Winging It Travel Podcast. In 2023, I spent a year traveling the world with my girlfriend, Emma. Join me as I take a look back over our epic trip and remember to like and subscribe to keep up with our adventures. Amman to Abu Dhabi was an hour flight and we had the dream of flying with Etihad Airways and as you can expect, it was a dream flight over. We got the A2 bus from the airport into the city centre of Abu Dhabi which took about 45 minutes and to get this bus you need to have an Abu Dhabi travel card which you can buy at the airport and top up with cash. Our hotel was the Novell City Hotel, so a rare occasion for us as we're booking a hotel. This hotel costs 335 AED for two nights, including breakfast, which is a buffet style breakfast, and has baked beans, dream. And straight away, I love the vibe Abu Dhabi, very cosmopolitan, happening, a nice vibe on the streets, and quite warm too. And as you must know by now, I do love a core niche. So we took a walk along the water and it was quite hot this day and there wasn't many people walking around with us. I think the local workers are probably thinking, what the hell are they doing? But a fantastic sight along the water. You can see so far into the distance, all the tall buildings. And you can see back at the tallest flag in UAE. A lovely chilled walk. But unfortunately, the heat did get to us and I was absolutely sweating buckets. So we managed to stop off at a trendy cafe called CAF cafe which has tremendous coffee amazing aircon and expensive cakes let's hear more they brew and roast their own coffee called calf coffee and that's what i've got today i've got an americano and this will cost you between depending on what currency you're in here the local currency it's 15 aed exchange that's like 550 canadian maybe 450 to 5 us something like that but let's get to calf Cafe coffee, a bit of a tongue twister there for a taste. Looking forward to this, it looks great. Need to drink it quick. The aircon is on, it's about 35 degrees outside, so this gets cold pretty quickly. So let's give it a taste. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. That's got a very, very interesting taste to that. Tastes pretty good, in my opinion. Let me give it another taste. It's definitely worth it. It's modern, it's chic, the coffee tastes great. It's huge, lots of space. We're on a super comfy sofa here. Fantastic. And also aircon is much needed, so you, you probably need a break from the heat from that as well. Afterwards, we headed back to the Corniche to walk around to the Marina Mall, just for a bit of lunch and a bit more views around the Corniche. And as you can see, Abu Dhabi looks pretty glorious in this weather, even has a beach as well. And for us, it was a quick pit stop for Abu Dhabi because the main part was Dubai. So the next morning, we hopped on the E100 bus to Dubai and we booked a hotel in the Deira area and the hotel of choice was Ibis and this cost 476 AED. This area is a little bit far out of town and not in the expensive part of Dubai. We did have an admin day of travel and travel admin and we did fail at trying to book a bus to Oman. There was no free bookings on any bus and also a lack of buses as well. So we needed a plan B, which meant we went to another cafe to book our flights to Muscat. The main thing for us and for me to see in Dubai is of course the Burj Khalifa. So the next morning we headed out and I was excited to see everything about this place because I've seen it so many times on social media for all the photos and videos. I just had to see it in person. And when I arrived, the true scale of this thing is absolutely breathtaking. And you can book tickets in advance to go up it, which we did for 9 a.m. And you arrive into the Dubai Mall, one of the biggest shopping malls in the world and you make your way up the lift which is 125 floors and you make your way to the observation deck and the views are absolutely sensational i couldn't quite believe how high up we were you do have to appreciate how amazing these things are that human beings do create you can walk around the observation deck and get a view of dubai from all angles and you can see other cities in the distance like abu dhabi and it does get busy on the observation deck, so make sure you give yourself enough time. I am one of those weird people who do love heights, so it's one of the things that I was really interested in. I'm not scared at all, so I love the experience, and I just wanted to stay up there all day, but we had to get a move on. So here is the snazzy lift as you go back down, which takes a matter of seconds. Watch out for your eardrums.
reflect, we headed for a much needed coffee at Arabica in the mall before heading out to the grounds of the Dubai Mall to see the Burj from ground level. There is a lovely bit of outside area with some water and some seats. And make sure you stretch your neck muscles, as you can see here, as I try to look up in one shot. But the one thing about UAE and of Dubai, the heat does get to you quite a bit. So we headed back into the hotel quite early, had some dinner, and went to the rooftop pool to get some sunset views of Dubai. Lovely. Next morning, we checked out of Ibis Hotel, then checked into the Super 8 Hotel because our flight to Oman was a day after. So we dropped our bags off and headed out towards Jumeirah Beach for a walk and a dip. There is a boardwalk alongside the water, which is a bit of a dream because we had a breeze. And it was lovely. We had a little sit on the beach and chilled out in the sun. There are plenty of mini teas along the walk, so we had a coffee, lunch and a bit of a sit down in the shade. It was a glorious evening as we chilled on the beach as it got cooler and cooler, so we took some dips into the sea. Our aim was to reach the Burj Al Arab and we did find an English pub there which served roast dinners, so I just couldn't resist. We cleaned ourselves up, went over there, it's called a Dow and Anchor, this also showed Premier League football. And when we made it to the entrance we felt a bit like a commoner because we were dressed in shorts and a t-shirt and slightly sunburnt too. And we made our way past the Ferraris at the front entrance and the guy who checked us into the pub almost looked down on us as well. However, the most important part was getting that roast dinner, which cost an extortionate amount for a meal. But hey, it was well worth it. I needed the gravy. Then it was the evening time, so we got a bus back to our hotel via some mosques, which were lit up in town, which were very nice indeed. And that concluded our time in UAE. Overall, it was a short and quick trip, which was intended as we only wanted to spend five or six days because we had to get to Oman as soon as possible to start our road trip and our wild camping adventure there. We saw some of the main attractions and it's all very easy to do. Lots of Wi-Fi, easy to book activities, hotels and transport. It felt like a nice holiday. We did splash out on a few hotels, which is quite rare for us. But all in all, I do see why people travel there. It's in the middle of the world, so great transport links to everywhere you want to go. Great beaches, lovely walkways, slightly expensive, but if you're working there, you don't pay tax either. I can see why it's an expat heaven. And next is Oman, so we make our way to Muscat before starting our wild camping adventures via a road trip. A great story that one. Cheers for tuning in, and I'll see you in Muscat. Please follow and subscribe on my YouTube channel today, and please rate and review the podcast on any podcast platform that you use. Thank you.